Hi there, how this going there TPT Nation? This is Colt coming to you on a Friday video. We're going to be going over the Chiefs and the Raiders game coming up this weekend. Also going to be talking about who's in, who's out. Going to be going over some uh, offense and defensive strategies to win this game. And going to be talking about uh, possible AFC playoff rumors going around on how the, how the playoffs are going to go, possibly after the Bengals and Bills game last weekend. And I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into that and get started. All right, so coming in and talking about these injuries coming up in this game, uh, as far as I know, I've got, I've that I've noticed so far that I've seen that have been ruled out, uh, possibly Joe Tooney out, possibly with a knee, and Sky Moore is also ruled out with a hand injury from last weekend's game. Uh, as far as I know, Legereus Sneed is going to be back. He has been practicing, and he is back in this weekend. And as for the Raiders, obviously we all know Derek Carr is sitting out, and the backup, backup Stidham is going to be playing again. As the uh, playing again as he did last week, so second stringer coming in, you know, should be an easy should be an easy game, but we're gonna dive further in and talk about that, and uh, we're gonna get in a little bit more about that. All right, so this game coming up, this is big. This isn't this is a big game for the Chiefs. This is a. Uh, this is kind of a Chiefs playing for everything kind of game. Really got to seal this off with a win. And I don't... I've talked about this a little bit last week in my last video. This isn't just a win for the Chiefs. This is a... Must win by big game for the Chiefs. I think this is a, this is a game where Chiefs need to go in and score... And score a bunch. Um, I'm talking like, you know, we need to win this game by like 20 plus points, 21, 30 points. Like we've got to win this game. We got to win it by a big. We got to, we got to, we got to win by a lot, and and show everybody that we have what it takes to get to the playoffs. We have what it takes, you know, we we have what it takes to win through, get through the playoffs. And we have what it takes to get to the Super Bowl. And without a big win from our de from our from our team, without a big win, I just don't. I honestly don't know if we can make it. Not doubting. I'm, you know, you know, I'm not. I'm not. I don't have huge doubts about it. But just lately, the way we've been playing toward this end of the season, just you know, offense has been playing so so. You know, we make big plays, you know, and we make big highlight plays. And, you know, we've got the stats, but I mean, we're winning these games. We're winning a lot of these games by, you know, seven points, three points. Only only a couple games we've won by, by, by double digits. Not very many. And for, and for me, that's just, it's too close. It's too too close too close of a game, and too close of games that we really gotta work on. And I think the real prop the real issue is is we don't play the full game, whether it be offense or defense. The offense scores scores points, but then we kind of give up, or we don't score points in the first half, and then we have to do a we have to do a you know a comeback game in the second half. Granted, we're not down usually not down by too much, but a lot of the times we have to come back in games, or we have big leads and then we give it back, and it becomes a closer game than it should. And to me, that that shouldn't happen. You know, with a team like the, the team that we have, we this shouldn't this shouldn't be a problem. But winning shouldn't be a problem. And. Coming in and playing a game team like this with a second string quarterback 
I mean, this game for us should be a blowout win. We should win by a lot. And, you know, playing Raiders is never easy. Raiders always play us with, with a full-on full on intent to beat us. So, really got to look into this game. Really got to play hard, play tough. And uh, just got to win this game by a lot. A few things that I have, a few things that I have for the Chiefs uh, to win this game. And this is going to be defense here. I mean, offense we offense we already kind of know. Offense we know what we what what we can do. But today, this weekend, our defense is really gonna. I think it's gonna really gonna have to play. Now coming into this game last week, Stidham came in and played a pretty phenomenal game. Last weekend, granted, even though they lost, even though they lost to the 49ers, they scored a lot of points against the best defense in the league. And they did that with one with two men. And that was Devontae Adams and and their quarterback Stidham. And these guys accumulated a bunch of yards and got a couple touchdowns. We really gotta watch that passing game going in. And I know our backs I know our defense is young. I know our defense are you know, they're, they're rookies. But this is the end of the season. You've played, you've got a, you've, you've now basically got a full season under your belt. I think you should be, and we've played them before, you should be ready for them. This is the end of the season. You've played, you've got a, you've, you've now basically got a full season under your belt. I think you should be, and we've played them before, you should be ready for this. You know, we should we should we should know what's coming and we should be ready for it. So I, I don't think that our young defenders have any excuses this time. They've gotta play they've gotta cover they've gotta cover Adams. They've gotta play tight in defense, zone defense. And we gotta we gotta stop that. We gotta stop the passing. Definitely gotta stop the run game. You got Josh Jacobs coming in, top rusher in this in the league, number one rusher. Got to plug holes. Got to stop the run. And Stidham ain't no slouch either. Stidham can run. I've watched Stidham. I've seen Stidham play before. Stidham's got feet. He's got he's got he's got speed. He's quick enough to move. So we gotta watch. We gotta watch that. We gotta pressure him. Gotta get pressure on the quarterback. If we're gonna let Stidham throw, we're gonna make Stidham throw on the run. And most of the time, quarterbacks out of the pocket, especially young, slightly inexperienced quarterbacks, tend to make ex tend to make mistakes. So defense has got to get in there, pressure them, and when you get in there, got to either you got to sack them, you got to get a sack, or you got to get your hands up, swat the ball, deflect the ball, get in his face, get in the quarterback's face. I can't stress that enough. When I see defensive players get in there, get to the quarterback, none of them put their hands up. Got to get in his face. Got to interfere with that. And just gotta we gotta cut their defense down. And cut out, cut their offense off. Offense, our offense, gotta gotta do our gotta do our thing. Gotta score, of course. Gotta make field goals. We're gonna talk about that here in just a little bit. And I can't I cannot stress this enough. Cannot stress this enough. You've got to play full 60 minutes. Got to play this game completely through. 100% all the way. 
can't slouch, can't can't be, you know, can't be conservative. Got to play through the whole sixty minutes. Go in and talk about Harrison Butker. I have been watching him recently. And uh, as of now, recently, he has has not been practicing. And uh, Coach Reed has talked about this. Um, he's been not practicing due to back spasms. And nothing to do with the season he's been having. But I, at this point, I don't know. Coming into this game, he's he's missed a lot of field goals. Could this be the end of Bucker's season career? Maybe. It could be. I can't tell you for sure. But uh, the amount of field goals he's missed, it's it wouldn't it wouldn't sh shock me none if we look into another kicker by the end of the season. It's just one thing that we've got to fix. Missing, you know, missing field goals and, and not getting easy points is something that a team can't allow. And I, I think that they look into a new kicker. I would not be shocked if Butker is not with us next season. I mean, I hope the best for him. I hope that he's. I hope that he stays. I don't think he's that bad of a kicker. I I like. I like Blucker. He's been with us for a while, long time. And I hope he stays. But if you miss field goals, you're going to get replaced. It's that simple. The thing I've been dreading about since last week, or since this past, not last week, but since the beginning of this week on Monday night, the thing I've been dreading about the most, there's a chance that they might call it a draw. There's a chance that they, uh, with Bills and the Bengals game not happening, may not even play it. They may not even play it. There's a chance that they might call it a draw. There's a chance that they might schedule it as a Week 19 game. I've heard different rumors. Uh, haven't NFL hasn't confirmed anything about it yet. There has been no confirmation on how the playoffs are going to go. Uh, the one rumor I had heard is that they're going to do a bye week for both NFC and AFC playoff teams. And the rumor that I heard was that the first week of the playoffs, they're going to have the NFC wild card games. And that weekend, they're also going to fit in the Bengals Bills game for a week 19 game. And then they will have AFC will have that week off, the rest of the AFC. And they will go into it next week. And then the next weekend, it'll be. A uh, AFC wild card playoffs, and the NFC will get a bye week, and then they'll go into it like that. I've also heard rumors that possibly they call it a draw, and they go off of win percentage, which to me I think is the is not fair at all to anybody. Teams that played, that have played all their games especially if, and I don't want to be like that I don't want to be a fan like that and I don't want people to say oh well you're just saying that because you're a Chiefs fan but Chiefs have played their whole they played their whole season and the fact that they've lost to the Bills and the Bengals there's a chance that we we get knocked out of the number one seed if they go off of that if they go off win percentage if they go off of that, not by overall. There's a good chance that we we lose that opportunity that we've worked so hard for. 
to get in that number one seed and that and that and to get that that home field advantage. This whole thing is a crazy situation, and uh, there's anything ter anything bad. I just hope that that whatever they do, it's fair, and I hope it's fair for everyone. And I'm glad, I'm glad to hear that Demar Hamlin is is recovering in the hospital. Uh, rumors that I've heard that the bills have been putting out. Recently, I heard that he's he is awake and is recovering and is and is breathing on his own, and that's that's amazing news. That's awesome news. Keep praying for him. Keep sending love. Keep sending prayers, because he's still got some recovering to do. But I'm just I'm glad to see that he's doing all right. That was a scary moment. I've never seen anything like that more scary. I've never seen anything more scary in my life, and I'm, I'm just glad that he's doing all right and that he's that he's uh, making progress. But I just hope that the NFL takes in consideration for the other teams and they make this fair for everyone going into the playoffs. And I hope that they I hope they figure it out. And I hope that everybody, I hope it's equal and fair for everybody and everybody gets an opportunity. That's, uh, that's going to do it for me today. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for listening to me talk about the Chiefs and the Raiders, talking about playoffs. Uh, don't forget to uh, go to this video. Make sure to like this video. And make sure you go to the page, TBT. Chiefs podcast, go to this page and subscribe to it. Get notifications. Uh, Jaden goes on live every year once in a while. Make sure you get notifications on so you know when those are coming up. Also, go and follow uh, Jaden on all social media platforms uh, TikTok, Instagram, a Twitter. Go on there. Make sure you follow him on all social media. Uh, he does TikToks basically every day. So be sure you follow him on there, and you can get on there and do a little Q&A, ask him questions. He likes to get questions. He likes to answer questions. And uh, thank you guys for coming in and watching this. And go Chiefs. Go KC. And uh, let's get that win this weekend, and let's take down the Raiders.